handing me their mobile phone. It's just about the bravest thing a celebrity can do. So why not play it with the bravest celebrity of them all? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's global survival superstar, Bear Grylls! <laughs> And you are here tonight with your lovely wife, Shara. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Shara Bear's wife. <laughs> and who else have you brought along, Bear? Uh, Verity and Lily, great friends. Great nice friends, to be with Verity you and guys. Lily are in the house. <laughs> so, Bear, what are you up to at the moment? We've just wrapped up a season of Running Wild for National Geographic with uh, some great guests this season. Yeah, we've got... Uh, Channing Tatum and Amazing. Cara Delevingne and uh, Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, so some fun people, yeah. And who was the bravest of all those? I think the, girl, the girls are often so inspirational and, and brave, although I think the President Obama one, he turned up with a bigger show of force with his 120 yeah. Secret Service. But, oh. um, <laughs> which was he came with a little bit yeah. of assistance. I know, that's what we thought. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, good fun. For those of you who don't know much about Bear, I mean, you live on an island. You have your own island, which is off the coast of Wales. We did. It's much less grand than it sounds, but it is a lump of rock off a beautiful bit of Welsh coastline. And a great Welsh community there, and our family have grown up and, and love it, and we spend a good part of our year Yeah, because there. you're like, you work with the Scouts, and you're all for this, because young people today, they're very much... Well, I, I have two young people. They're called um, my children. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my youngest has actually been quite inspired by you. He runs around an island trying to survive. It's called Fortnite. And he's a <laughs> 24 hours a day. I can't get the kid off this computer game. <laughs> the, the other day, I went in. I said, get off the game. Just, I said, pause it. He said, don't, I, I can't pause. I only know my child now with his headset on. He's like, Dad, I can't pause it. I'm in the middle of a game. I'm in a really, really important game, Dad. I can't pause it. I was like, you have to pause it. Dinner's ready. I can't pause it. I can't... He said, I'll have to kill myself. I said, <laughs> I said, darling, it's not that serious. He said, no, I mean, on the game. I have to kill myself on the game. So this is what happens now in my house. Every dinner time, I call up the stairs. Oscar, kill yourself. It's dinner. <laughs> it's bolognese. <laughs> you, you can relate. But this doesn't go on in your house, Ben. <laughs> no computer games? We're too busy setting traps. <laughs> Give an example of what you would do with your kids like, over the summer on your island. Um, the elder one would join me for a workout, maybe, and then we'd nice. swim a lot. I don't know. We'd, we mess around. I think kids have great imaginations, and all they want is for you to kind of go along with stuff. And, and you, you, jump, know, you jump out of a lot of aeroplanes, don't you, Bert? Well, our eldest one's now 16, so we do skydive a little bit together. But it's, uh, for me, it's, it's super fun. And you do that fun. straight it's... into dinner? I mean, you just... <laughs> Pull the straps up and just sit in. <laughs> For me, as a father, to be able to teach your son and to be in free fall together and to do all of that stuff, dream come true. Shara, maybe a little less so, but um. <laughs> um Bev, it's going to happen now. You're going to hand me your mobile phone, if that's mm. okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, the phone is going in. Oh, okay, here we go. Plug this in here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Bear Grylls actual mobile telephone. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and is that you and Shara there on, the, on your island? Looking uh, out? That, that is, yeah. Let's have a look at your photos. Oh, this looks very fun. Oh, uh, look at you, Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Please explain yourself. 
it's, the, uh, it's the home gym, the home workouts, yeah. So you work out using your children? <laughs> That's a tricep dip. You're not throwing him into bed. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And this is a beautiful view. What is that? Well, that's the outside loo. Oh, there it um, is, yes. <laughs> is this on your island? Yeah, you're welcome to come and visit any time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We, we actually now Luxurious. have... Luxurious! We have a very, very nice indoor loo nowadays. Right. But that was, the, that was the first one we had, yeah. Uh, OK. So there's a, there's a good amount of privacy there. Um, <laughs> loo roll? Is that... Do you just run it off? I mean, what happens? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> And then if it's raining, you have an umbrella stuck in the gorse next to it, and the prevailing wind's always from the southwest, where the sea is, so you're quite well protected, and I can hold it over. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Shara... This, I'm so sorry to embarrass you. So, <laughs> the wind's coming in at an angle, and well, you'll be hovering over her with an umbrella <laughs> while she's sitting on the loo in this bush. This is... <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, um... <laughs> Oh, what's this bear? That's Jesse and me and oh, a great buddy paragliding together. Exactly as I'd expected. And, oh, is this is when the wind was in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, darling, I've forgotten the umbrella. <laughs> it's a complete disaster. <laughs> oh, dear. Whenever <laughs> I see Michael... It's always, this is always, he goes off for like about 15 minutes, all, all these sort of jokes, I love it, it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. If you Google me, I am a comedian. <laughs> Did you know that's my joke? <laughs> Listen, Ben, I really want you to enjoy tonight. Don't worry about the text, it's super fun. I am worried <laughs> about the text. It's super fun. <laughs> the text? I'm going to send to all of Bear's contacts is... And remember, don't Just... feel sorry for Bear. He has survived a hell of a lot worse than this. <laughs> so, the text is as follows. Hi, it's Bear. I'm making... You don't have to worry. It's a really nice text. <laughs> I'm making a new show. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Where I parachute into a friend's garden. <laughs> and have to survive for a week. <laughs> Can I use yours? <laughs> it's a lovely thing to ask of your friends. I'll be naked. Now, that's... <laughs> that's very much in keeping with the extreme survival. You must start, Ben, with nothing. So please remove... Anything sharp. That is important. <laughs> Open brackets. Rake. <laughs> Swing ball. <laughs> Etc. Have you got a hose <laughs> or paddling pool <laughs> to wash in? <laughs> or just a bird bath <laughs> for my bits. <laughs> you've got to survive. I could add pits, pits and bits, pits, <laughs> pits and bits. But my, you wouldn't say pits and bits, would you? Is it something you would say? Yeah, that's a good phrase. You would say yeah, pits I, and bits. Yeah. Or yeah, just well, a bird bath for my pits and bits. Benefits to you, I'll eat all your weeds... <laughs> ..slash slugs... <laughs> ..etc. <laughs> ..and provide free fertiliser. <laughs> Who emoji? <laughs> Do you have friends with big gardens? God, I dread <laughs> to think who this is going to. It's going to everyone, but... Mm. <laughs> Need to know ASAP. And how would you sign a text bear? With the bear emoji? Is that... <laughs> have you ever done that? Uh, no, no. Uh, a strong arm and a thumbs up. 
Oh. What do you think? Brilliant. Strong arm, thumbs up. OK. Shall I send that to all of Bear Grylls' contacts? <laughs> well, long text has gone! <laughs> so, that text was sent into your phone, Bear, and, quite frankly, everybody you know has replied. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'd better crack up. We will start with Melanie Wright. Who's that? A great friend from university days. Melanie says, Hi, Bear. Oh, goody. The squirrels have been on the lookout for some nuts. <laughs> so they'll be delighted. <laughs> you can... Oh, this is hilarious. You can eat our neighbours. We've never liked them. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Audrey? Who's Audrey? Audrey, yeah, another old friend. Old friend, brilliant. Please wee on the roses. It keeps the deer from eating them. Feel free to eat anything else you find, but don't eat next door's pigs, as they will never speak to me again. <laughs> Not a problem being naked, as Miles and I always do the gardening naked on Sundays. <laughs> Take and try us off. <laughs> Mike Town? And, uh, yeah, the a guy who was one of my teachers when I was at school. <laughs> he was a teacher? Yeah. So when's the last time you spoke to him? Well, actually, I keep in touch with him. He, he, he taught me and my great friends to climb when we were young. A great man, lives in the Lake District. Legend, yeah. Your life yeah. is just a storybook. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Hi, Bear, that's brilliant, he says. <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> Plenty of fruit, strawberries, currants, etc. Plus snails and slugs too. <laughs> Hose pipe on hand. <laughs> There's a splendid new gazebo. Please don't land on the new ground mounted solar panels. <laughs> More room on the wrestling lawn. What's a wrestling lawn? Well, he was also he taught us martial arts as well, so we used to do a lot of wrestling. But, um, what I love is going is on? everyone's so willing. <laughs> a wrestling lawn! <laughs> Come on, Bear, off to the lawn for more wrestling! <laughs> on the solar panels! <laughs> this is a fun one. <laughs> Pat Cash, the former Wimbledon champion. Hi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> problem. My backyard is very small, probably not suitable, and most of it is cement. <laughs> So, not sure if you could do much there. But the Eelbrook Common is right across the road, if the <laughs> council don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> then he's gone, the neighbours have a better place. But since we just moved in, I don't know them. <laughs> really, ever practical, good Everybody thing. Everybody so far is believing this. Emma Harrison! Oh, nah. who's Emma Harrison? A great friend who's a teacher. Right, yeah. Dear Bear, you are more than welcome, but only if you bring a naked Michael McIntyre with you. Yeah, I've been rumbled. Been rumbled. Rumbled. <laughs> Andy and Rianne? They are Andy Boatman, who actually is a boatman, which is the amazing thing. He's uh, one of the lifeboat crew near he's us. He's called in... Andy Boatman. Yeah, and he he's really a is boatman. He is his son. His name's not Boatman. Well, I've called him Andy Boatman. Also. I've written <laughs> checks to Andy Boatman. Oh, my God. <laughs> You've just called him Boatman because he's a boatman. Well, he's always... He's, he's always... He's not his, 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 his name, Bear. But I've written a cheque to Mr it's A. It's like your son in being adventurer. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, he's cashed your cheques. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy, who is a boatman and may or may not be called Andy Boatman... <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. My garden is a bit small, but my parents have a small holding. Ten acre with a stream and woodland. So you could hunt. <laughs> You're welcome to view. There you go. <laughs> Andy Boatman. Nigel and Jess. Yeah, what's Nigel say? Ha, huh, yes, definitely. We've got a couple of goats in the garden at the moment who particularly like sausages, so I'd sleep <laughs> face down just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Sykes, who's that? Great buddy I've grown up with since I was a... Tiny oh, you've got lots of nice old friends. He's just gone straight in with, you bet, not seen you naked for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone, and not from that angle. 
<laughs> Apart from the naked handstands at my stag. <laughs> In brackets, still scarred. <laughs> Land in the pond, have a wash, and then fill your belly with the mushrooms and moss on the lawn. <laughs> oh, great ending. Sign the visitor's book when you leave. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Fairgrounds Rosie!